Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray for the word. Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity, Lord, to share in your word. I decrease that you may increase. I pray that God, you will minister to your people, that God, you will bless somebody this day. That God, the person who came here with the need, the person who came here looking uh, to hear from you, that you will speak to them. I pray that God, your Holy Spirit, will guide the flow of the word. And I pray that God, I will be a vessel that you will use for this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Tunaweza keti tuki... Ah, sorry, I spoke in Swahili. Uh, <laughs> no, what was Swahili, you left us the other side. So, uh, so uh, but I will mix because uh, I, am, uh, I am both a Swahili and an, an English speaker. Praise God. Amen. I am so honored to be here today uh, to be bringing the word of God. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Bishop in absentia and Mam Alice and of course the pastoral team, Pastor Beatrice, uh, Pastor Brian, thank you for the opportunity. A lot of times in the, I serve in deliverance as, as an interpreter, Mkalimani. Now in, 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 in many instances, Mkalimani wanakawa tuwa mkono, sindio? They are people of the hands. So, uh, in fact... Not deliverance, another church I will tell you about. I was interpreting, and the preacher was preaching, and he was fi very fiery. And sometimes my voice was going down, his voice was going down. I saw the usher pour some juice. Some, you know that juice, that nice juice? And, uh, and I saw him, I saw the usher come and bring the juice to the, the speaker, and I was like, okay. I was like, okay. So that is when I discovered. Mini mutuanini. Wamukono. I almost sang that song that says to Sinipita Mokosi because Niliona Jewish in a Peter and and I but not in deliverance. Uh, not where? Clap for our ushers. You know our ushers do a good job. Yeah. And if they have done it, maybe they just forgot that, 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 that one one day. It doesn't happen always. I am married to one beautiful wife. Uh, she's here with me. Uh, let me ask her to stand and just wave. Uh, she's Josephine. Josephine. Yes. For the men, Akwangi evil like throughout. You know, men are our shikangi. It is just for the past like eight months in the Ako evil. So. That is to tell you we are expecting, isn't it? Yeah, hakuangi evil like, you know, <laughs> I, I just needed to clarify that um, we are, we are expecting, isn't it? And I'm also blessed my sisters are here. My sisters and you, all of you, you can wave, my sisters are here. Yani ni wengi mbaka watu wengine wanainua mkono wakifikiria ni sisters angu. These are... Maybe you can stand. My twin sisters, they are here with their friends. My niece is here. Niece, you can stand. Of course, that's my niece. And my sisters, they are twin sisters. And, and my brother is also, uh, maybe, I know they were also expecting. And there's another one there. You see how many sisters I have, eh? And, uh, and my brother up here now, <laughs> it's like Tuliambiana, they're also expecting. So probably the due date was today. That's why he's not here. That's why maybe he's not here. That's, that's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but you know what? I have also a father who is here, isn't it? Baba Mdogo in English. How do we call How do we? Small father. My small father, you can raise up and uh, Baba Mdogo, uncle, my uncle Moses, you can wave. Uh, you know, this church, there's so many people. My Ndugu are my dad. Yule uh, Mdogo, isn't it? And, uh, and many others that you know. Some of you know them. But of course, I, there, there, are those, there are those children there, my wife and my uh, two biological, and then we have fostered, you know, the girl in, uh, the girl in, uh, in green, she's called Gladys, and then uh, Precious is the second born, and then the third born is uh, Liam, and we thank God. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a blessing to give. Hello? 
It is a blessing to give. Of course, Julia, you can wave also. Sorry. Uh, she's also my sister. We have grown together. Ah, uh, no. Wait. They have grown together with my sisters, yeah? Um, um, it is a blessing to give. You know when I was told to speak? Lilian Biwa, are you available to speak on Sunday? And Kasema, yes. Then it, no, no, like it will a voice in a kwambia. You know when I was told that I was I, already a message. Ha, message ika ingia. So is a lot of challenges, isn't it? So a preacher will do well if he preaches overcoming troubles and uh, and faith in the economy. <laughs> yeah. So I already thought, hey, by, by the way, people need faith, isn't it? But there is something that told me, you so you ask uh, what, what maybe the pastor. Uh, may want you to speak on something uh, that the Holy Spirit has already uh, spoken about. And then you know what she told me? Giving. I said, wow, giving. This economy, there are some messages that are tough, isn't it? There are some messages that are tough. Giving in this economy. And by the way, you know, and, and for two reasons, I, I was like, why did I go ahead and ask? Maybe I, I would have stuck with overcoming faith in this economy. Maybe that would have been the, the, the powerful message. But I believe the Lord wanted you to hear. The reason I was like, this message, you know, because we, are, we, are, we, are, we have not yet got there. Praise the name of the Lord. There is nobody here who can say they have, got, they have already got there when it comes to giving. Praise the name of the Lord. We are still working hard. It's like what Paul is writing to the Philippians and saying, I am pressing on. Hello? Because we have not yet got there. And we are working towards getting there. So as a preacher, I have not yet got there. So this message as it is for you, it is for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we are still working on becoming better givers. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and the other thing, again, as I said, you know, I thought about, you know, the economy and, and what people are going through. And, and you, you, you have that message. In fact, I thought that is a message for Bishop giving, you know, and, and, and Pastor Brian and, and Pastor Beatrice. But then, you know, because people are, are pushed, you know, you know, when you look on the Internet and when you hear people, it's like the Kenya is, 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 is not doing well, isn't it? That is the message that, you know, sometimes comes in, in, in your mind. And, 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 and so I, I, remember, I remember, and by the way, the economy is not doing well. If it's not doing well, it's not just for members. Praise the name of the Lord. Even who? Preachers and pastors. You know, sometimes you may look at people and, and they're coming, the ministry team, they're coming to pray for you. And you're having, in fact, one time I was, I was going, going, coming to pray and somebody came and said, you know what? Uh, my, my, my cargo is at the, the port. And hey. And I remember the cargo that I had is a laptop. Praise the name of the Lord. And I said, my cargo is what? Karibu ni mulize. You back, back in human. You be a shara ya cargo. Because sometimes it's easy to think when you're coming to pray for you. But we thank God for the grace. That we can pray and that cargo will be released. Can you imagine coming to pray for somebody who is telling you, my, my, my product is at the port. It's 17 what? Billion. Hello? And when you remember the billion, you, and, you know, mil, what a million? Billion. Praise the name of the Lord. You're like, okay, what kind of prayer do you need? <laughs> Hello? So it, that was what was coming to my mind, that, you know, things are not good. But I thank God because immediately the Lord corrected me through the, the one who sent me the message and said, and you know, I saw that message on giving, the importance of giving. And that is what we are going to talk about today. Because my friend, when I thought about it, I thought about even salvation is a matter, is a point about giving. Hello. When I was looking at the principles of giving, one of the principles that came was God is a giver. Hello. Mungu ni mpeanaji. God, tell your neighbor, God is the giver. God is the giver. And the first giving, number one, that is so critical, is God gave us salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only begotten son. That means you are giving whatever you have. Praise the name of the Lord. And so that principle came to me and, and it was like, it was very powerful that God is the first giver. 
And it is not only salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. The other thing is life. Hello? Do you know you have life today because God has chosen to give you life? I can assure you, when I was growing up, I, I, when I was growing up, we grew up with what we would call house, I would call them house managers, and they used to come from different churches, and then they used to anakuja and so we got one who was from Salvation Army. So we got, as children, we started going in Salvation Army. And I remembered, one of the things when we were growing, when we were going to that church, there used to be a testimony time. And the testimony was almost like scripted, but I came to realize the, the importance of that testimony. This is how we used to go and say, you know, when they call for testimony, you say, Bona sifiwe, Bona sifiwe twice, yeah? Bona sifiwe, Bona sifiwe, tena. And then you say, Mimi leo mkiniona hapa na mshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya uhai, and because I grew in Western, they used, they used very good kiswa Swahili. Yeah? Then you say, Kama angelikuwa. You know angeli? Kama angelikuwa mwanadamu. Nisinge weza kukua hai siku ya leo. Do you know that is very true and very powerful? Kama angelikuwa nani? Mwanadamu. I, I realized the significance of that when in 2020 when there was COVID and 2021. That my friend, yes, we get oxygen from, they say from plants. And namiti uh, haikuwa imekatwa, but that oxygen was lacking. Ama miti zilikatwa. But that oxygen was lacking. And they were looking for containers to give people oxygen. Kama angelikuwa mwanadamu. Praise the name of the Lord. It is only God. And let me tell you for sure. If there are people who are to make a decision if you will be alive today. Juzi ungekua ulimalizwa. But because God. Tell your neighbor because God. Is a giver of life. I am alive today. You are alive today because God loves you so much. And he has given you an opportunity to be alive. Because if it was your... If you were going to pay for it, yes, yesterday or yesterday, but when I was just doing my research as I was preparing, and I, I have chat GPT on my phone, uh, on my laptop. So I typed, how many liters of oxygen does a person use in a day? Do you know it's how many? 550 liters. I know you are wondering, 500. 30 liters. 550 liters. Of, if you are to quantify, friends, God has given you. And that is why I thought this then is the right thing to do. To talk about giving. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it is God who has given you the life that you are living. There is a man who was so happy. He had, he had, the Bible talks about this man who was uh, rich and he had done the harvesting and he was, chakula ilikuwa kwa gala. Na ilikuwa naangalia na sema, now it is what? The time? And what happened? That, that what? That night. Tell your neighbor, God is the giver of life. God is the giver of life. And the other thing that God has given us so abundantly is the grace. Because we are saved by the grace. Our salvation is sustained by the grace of God. Because things are come from so many places and so many things that happen in our Christian walk. But by the grace of God, he has extended us that salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. By the grace of God, we are alive. He has exchanged. You know, actually, the, what, what Jesus did, he exchanged our sin and took our sin. So that today, we can talk about salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you look at the Bible in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, the Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That you will always have all sufficiency in all things. You know when the Bible repeats, all sufficiency, and it does not stop there. In all things that you may, uh, may have an abundance for every good work. Praise the name of the Lord. And we thank God for that grace. That grace extends to us the sufficiency. And finally, why I thought about giving is God gives us peace. Hello? There are four things I've talked about. One is salvation. The other one is life. The other one is the grace and peace of God. 
that he will keep in perfect peace. That is what the Bible says in Isaiah 26. He will keep in perfect peace. Those that trust in him. Praise the name of the Lord. Those whose minds are focused on, focused on him. So God is a giver. And therefore, we need to be givers. Hello? We need to be givers. Friends, you could be here, but you are the blessing that somebody needs. You could be here looking for, and that's why I always encourage that, talk to somebody. And I thank God because of deliverance. You need to do what? Talk to somebody. Because maybe the blessing you are looking for is with somebody who can give it to you. Praise the name of the Lord. It, it's with somebody who can give it to you. God is a giver. Number two, you always, principle number two, you always have something to give. Sometimes it's giving, and that's, all, of course, one of the things I was fearing, is because giving is so much associated with money that we fear. Right? But I want to tell you, you always have something to give. There is something that God has given you that you can extend to somebody. You can give to somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. Regardless of your status, regardless whether you are poor or whether you are rich, you always have something you can give. And like we have said, you're giving because God is a giver. Friends, there was in the book, in Bible, in Luke 7, 36 to 50, I'll just paraphrase the story. It's the story of the sinful woman. The story of the sinful woman. This sinful woman, you know, Jesus is invited to a dinner. You, you can imagine inviting Jesus to a dinner, isn't it? That must have been big, yeah? And the, the host must have been wanting to do, you know, something amazing. Sometimes when we have dinner, when we have invited uh, uh, friends to come to our house or, you know, people are coming and we are doing dinner, I see the activities happening, isn't it? You just see onion in a pita ivy, kitungu and all, and, and the idea is you want people to have an experience. And that is what had happened. This guy should be Simon. He had invited Jesus, a Pharisee, in a Pharisee's house. He had invited Jesus to come and dine. And, 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 and then in the process of inviting dinner, and, and I'm imagining if you were inviting Jesus for dinner, for sure. For today, Kwanzaa, the first thing you want to do is to charge your phone. Right? For the dinner manenos, isn't it? For the, you know, you, hey, Jesus at my house. Hashtag, isn't it? Jesus at... My house. Eating dinner with? Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what I am. Let, let's be honest. You know, we, we want to be honest. Isn't it? The motive, you would want to, you know, gather those views. Isn't it? That is what, that is what was happening. The, the, this guy has invited Jesus and he wants, by the time Jesus is living here, he has an impression. And then there comes a woman. The Bible talks about a sinful woman. Or, I, I don't know. Uh, probably it's a, pro a sinful woman will be a prostitute, isn't it? And probably this is the things, this is what she, she did. She ran to Jesus and the Bible says she started weeping and crying. And you know, she was using her hair. She was using what she had to give what she felt Jesus needed. And that was washing. The Bible talks about she used her, she in fact kissed her, her feet, isn't it? She used her hair and she poured perfume. She had an alabaster jar. She poured perfume on Jesus, that sinful woman. Praise the name of the Lord. There is something that you can always give. And, 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 and the other stories of this, uh, uh, these two guys, they are walking, Peter and John, they are walking in the, in the what we call the beautiful, uh, uh, the beautiful temple, Right? They, they, are, they, are, they are walking, they are going for, for worship. And then there is a man, the Bible records that there is a man who had been lame. He, she, he had not walked since birth. Probably that is the place where they will take so that this guy may be given some money, so that this guy may be given some pocket change. And then, you know, I like what the Bible says. Peter and John were walking there. And by the way, for sure, they did not have money. Because that is what they said. They said, you know what, silver and gold we do not have, but in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That means there is something as a Christian that you can give. And friends, it did not end there. 
when you you read uh, 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 i i should be uh, verse 7 that is of acts 3 1 to 10 if you read jesus uh, uh, peter and and john they are there they have told him rise up and walk there is something that they do this guy had not walked since birth so hanan guvu komigu praise the name of the lord the Bible says that he, they, that Peter held his hand. I don't know if you're seeing Peter. You have already prayed for the guy. You have already said, rise up and walk. But there is an extra thing that Peter decided to do. That telling him to rise up and walk is okay. But there is another hand. There is something extra that you can do. He put his hand on it. He, he pushed, pushed, pushed uh, held him on his hand. And the Bible says he helped him to rise up. Oh, my friend, it is okay to say that you're praying for somebody, but there is also an opportunity God has given you to put your hand and say, now rise up. Praise the name of the Lord. I am guilty of say, telling people that I will pray for you. That is not enough. And by the way, sometimes we tell people we'll pray for them. And that ends there. Hello? Tutakuombe. In fact, ata naeza kukuliza. Mimi ukiniambia tutakuombe, ntakuliza mukiwa na nani? Because, you know, we, we like saying we. We are praying for you. You and who? <laughs> you and who? In fact, say, I am praying for you. And if God gives you, sometimes you don't have money. If God gives me an opportunity, I will do something. Because, friends, you are the blessing that that person needs. Can you imagine if they said, arise up and walk, and they went. And this guy has never walked. He has never used his legs. Because the Bible records, he was like that since birth. But I'm, thank, I'm thankful for Peter and John. I'm thankful for the discernment that this guy needs my hand to pull him up. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I need your hand to pull me up. Praise the name of the Lord. And pulling, up, pulling me up is in the way that God enables you. The other thing is, you remember the, other, the, the, the boy with, with, the, with the five uh, fish? Is it five fish? No, five loaves. And two fish, yeah? The Bible records, uh, it was John 6. The Bible says, you know, Jesus is at a place where uh, 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 people have not eaten. And there are how many? Like 5,000 people. They have not eaten. And then, you know, wanafunziwa yesu tu ni kama sisi. Walikuwa kama sisi. Eh, bana, awa hatu wambia wafanya nini? Na mmeshinda na wao. I think awa pia walikuwa was. Sisi ni afadhali, sidiyo? You, you have been with people and you're telling, well, now, what these people need to do is go and eat. And Jesus says, Wapatieni kenya mukonayo. And then there is this guy who says, oh, oh, there is, we don't have anything, but there is this lad here. The Bible says lad. Lad. Lad ni mtu anaka kijana mdogo, sindio? Lad. And, and the Bible says that, you know, there is this, he said there is this lad who has only what? Five buckets, oh no, five uh, loaves and two, two fish. Hey, nani, nani watu, five? Thousand. But let me tell you, there is always something you can give. And God is able to multiply what you're giving. Praise the name of the Lord. And when I'm talking about giving, I'm talking about, of course, I'm talking about even giving for somebody who is your neighbor. Number three that I want to tell you is we give. Now, the, third, the third principle, we give out of love. We give out of love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only. In fact, it is starts with the motive. The motive is what starts. And then the action follows. For God so loved the world. The motivation of our giving should be love. Praise the name of the Lord. The motivation of our giving should be love. And not the views. And not sometimes, we, 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 we sometimes get to a point of not understanding that, and it's because of social media, it has become, it is there, it's available, but sometimes I have seen people not dignifying children, not dignifying people because they feel they are helping them. Yeah? Some of you, you will go to a children's home and we will not have peace because you have gone to give. So Facebook, you know, giving to the needy. Hashtag. Friends, that is what sometimes I have seen happening. That we have lost, what is the motive? Is it to get the views? Is it so that you can please people? Let's, 
let's read. Put for us 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 3. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 3. What does the Bible say? Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanking symbol. This is what it is. Clanking symbol. You are the English speaking. <laughs> Clanking symbol ni kama kuchukua hizi vitu mbili. You see this? Alafu kuzipiga. Na imagine umepiga ndimi. Na ni kama unapiga hizo vitu. Pa! Pa! You see how that indictment is? It is like clanging symbol. Or it is like, uh, what, what, what it is, is it? It becomes a sounding brass. Like Kengele. You know, who was a timekeeper? You used to have like Kengele and you want to pig You know, that, so that you are like a clanging symbol. Friends, if you do not have love. Let's continue second verse 3. What does it say? And so I have the gift of prophecy and understanding of all mysteries and all knowledge. And so I have a faith so that it could remove mountains. But I have no love. I am nothing. Hello? And then number three, what, the, what does the verse three says? And so I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. <laughs> and so I give my body to be burned. Yani mwili unapeana mbaka ichomwe. But I have not love. It profits me nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. What is the motive? The motive is love. You are extending the love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. As you give to your neighbor, as you're going for Christmas and you come with cabbage from Ushago, as you come to give, it's not so that waseme kwenyu cabbage ziko mingi. It is so that you are extending what? Love. Praise the name of the Lord. You are showing love. If you look at Matthew 6, 1, 4, let's read Matthew very quickly. And I know my time is moving very fast. But Matthew 6, 1, 4. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Two, therefore, when you do a charitable deed and, and do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street that they may have glory from men, assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Three, but when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And four, that your charitable deed may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Praise the name of the Lord. As you do that deed, my friend, I know you, there are content creators here. How many content creators do we have? Praise the name of the Lord. Your on TikTok, there are many, isn't it? As you do that deed, my friend. You know one time I, 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 I want almost found myself doing it. We had gone somewhere and, and my, with my, one of my small dads. And we had gone to give blankets for women, old women in an area. And then we gave and they were, so, they were smiling, you know. They are give, you are give, giving them blanket. It was very cold and they were smiling. And I was the one taking what? Chua, pictures. You know, and I was like, when I arrived in the house, you know, I feel like using it. You know, I feel like saying, you know, go looking for a scripture. And so that I can tell the world. That you know what? Today, there are women we gave what? I started typing and stopped immediately. Because, you know, why am I, what is the motive? Sometimes is it to expose that women, who told you in the first place that they, they did not have blankets at home? Praise the name of, so that you are now the, the savior of the cold weather. Friends, I've talked about three principles. And in the next few minutes, I want to talk about why do we give. I'm telling you, this topic is so broad. And uh, we will do what we can. Why do we give? One is advancement of God's kingdom. You know, I'm thinking about Deliverance Church, Zimmerman. And I'm thinking about the four, the four, um, the four uh, campuses. And I'm looking at another campus. Is it Gumba? With people filled like this. We are advancing the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, the Bible talks about, and, and my, my, my scripture is from Philippians 4, 10 to 20, where if you know the history of the Philippi, the church, the Philippians church, 
One time Paul was alikuwa amefungwa. I will paraphrase the, 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 that scripture. Paul had been uh, locked up or imprisoned. And then the Bible says uh, the Philippians church had decided to help somebody who is locked up in the name of Paul. And they had sent somebody that name has been disturbing me like nilikuwa mpaka nime cram but sasa tena imenipotea. You for What is the name of this guy? You for you Okay, put for us, please. Epaphroditus. Epa? Epaphroditus. I'm already thinking of a name, my, my wife. I'm thinking of a name of... Epa what? Epaphroditus. By the way, iyo jina imenisumbwa. Nilikuwa nimeishika. Hata tukikuja kwa gari, nikakimbia, nikaangalia hii jina ndiyo. But in a, it keeps on going away. Epaphro, they had sent Epaphroditus with gifts so that the, the Epaphroditus can go and see Paul. And Epaphroditus goes, and by the way, you're going to see somebody in prison. And actually, the Bible talks about Epaphroditus even got sick. He was almost at the point of dying. So this church decided to partner with Paul the philippians church it was a small church that had started with around three people one is a, a prison a prison guy remember when paulo na sila waliomba milango ya gereza ikafunguka there was a prisoner who got born again there was a lady was she called lydia lydia she was a businesswoman selling clothes isn't it and there was another another lady ule alikuwa na mapepo alikuwa anafuata paul paul akachoka na yeye akasema in the name of Jesus he my people ifanye nini itoke you see that was the start of the church of the philippi and a very small church i can imagine they decided to partner with paul and paul is writing a letter and he's sending epaphroditus you may get eh? he's sending the letter to to them and appreciating that you partnered with me Praise the name of the Lord. And it, if you read that scripture, he says they partner with him in Macedonia. They partner a small church who decided that Paul is doing the work of God and we want to be part of advancing the kingdom of God. Can you imagine the four campuses? Can you imagine people coming in front, they are getting born again? My friend, you will be part of that. And so on 3rd of December, we want to do it for this. And after that, I prophesy that we will do in another area. Because we want to make sure that we reach people with the word of God. We want as many people, you know, four campuses and even five. And can I prophesy that next year at such a time like this, he joto, by the way, kama kuna kitu muna tushindia ni joto. Hata nilikuwa ni meanza kusema, nisija ubiri na nina sweat. Lakini na prophesy next year at such a time as this, God will have done it for you. But we want to partner with you. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want you to, to decide that you are going to partner so that this can happen. You know, prophecy needs to come. Staki msemange ule ule daktari ali prophesy ni kama haikufanyika. We want to do it. Praise the name of the Lord. See, by the way, tumesha fanya ground breaking. Let us partner and let us do it for the kingdom of God. I know sometimes the economy is difficult, but we can do it. Oh, not sometimes. The economy is not as good. But we can do it. Because again, our economy has another thing which is called faith. Praise the name of the Lord. It is called faith. Which is a substance of things. Hata mimi niliweka pledge. Lakini sijui. Iyo 3rd December kama itakua imefika. But you know what? I say it by faith. Because giving is also about faith. We want to advance the kingdom of God. So Paul writes and says, you partnered with me in advancing the kingdom of God. So why do you give? Advance the kingdom of God. We want to reach as many people, friends, as many people as possible. Hello? And if you're not going to go, you can do something. You can do something. If you're not going to, to go and preach, go for a crusade, or go for, you can do something. You can partner. Because that is what the Philippi church did. They sent a pro, a pafro, a pafroditas. Praise the name of the Lord. Next. Epaphroditus, isn't it? Epaphroditus, they send him. And Paul is writing a letter. So Paul wrote Philippians from the prison. And he's writing to appreciate the Philippi church. 
Because they have partnered with him. Not only in Philippi, not only in that, but in other places. In fact, if you read uh, Philippians 4 go, uh, from 10, he says they did partner with him twice. And by the way, I was reading another, another, another uh, I think it was, no, I don't know if it was NIV. I was reading many, many versions. And there is one that says the Philippians church were actually anxious to give. Yani, unakua, anxiety, they were anxious. I don't know if you know that one anxiety ya kutoa. Yani you are anxious. Mbaka unauliza kwani 3rd December imekaa hivi. They were anxious. Number two, we give because there is a reward. We are advancing the kingdom of God and we know that there is a reward. Because it is more blessed to give than to receive. Listen to what in verse 17 I will quote. This is what he says. Paul is writing to the Philippi and he says, but though I appreciate your gifts. Actually, they had sent gifts through Epaphroditus. What makes me happiest is the well-earned reward you will, you will have because of your kindness. Though you, it is good you are giving me, that is not what makes me happy. What makes me happy is your well-earned reward you will receive. I don't know if you get what I'm getting. And another verse, NIV said, not that I desire your gifts. Nisawa mkinipatia. By the way, he was in prison. I don't know if you have ever gone to see a person in prison. Anakuwa mdomo imekauka. Anakuwa anajaa. Anakuwa anga na shida. Lakini Paul anawambia, sio sana sababu. Nilikuwa naitaji. In fact, in the same he talks about for me to live. The same Philippians. For me to live is what? And for me to die is gain. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen, listen. He says, not that I desire your gifts. What, what I desire is that more may be credited to your account. More may be credited to your account because of your gifts, because of your giving. So you come on, I love my account. You come on, I want to go to the house. Now, we dividends. And you say, maybe kuna mwisho wa mwaka kuna kakitu unangojea, isn't it? Because of some kasaving uliweka, kuna dividends unangojea, unakaa hivi. Unajua hata usha kapangia. Ama nyia mpangi yangi kawa. Mi yangu inakuja April. Oh, nimesema siku inakuja month. <laughs> so, ninakuwa nimepangi. Dividends, eh? Yani, ikikikua, ikikonga kwa account hivi. Isn't it? That is what he's saying. It is credited to your... Ni kama deni, isn't it? It is credited to your account that you did it. Now, the reward may not be immediate. But my friends, it will surely come. My friends, you may not be the ones to get the rewards immediately, but I will tell you that your children, there are things I believe. I was, my father was a pastor, and I saw a man who gave. And today, as I stand here to preach all the things that I have, uh, you know, I am doing, and my family, and, and, and my brothers, and my sisters who are here, and, and the family, I can tell you it was credited to his account. Because he was there, you know, going back to the house, Yani, daddy, ni, pa, ni church too. Yani, Friday, muna watu wanakuja nyumbani from Friday mpaka Sunday. Na si ati wanakuja, walikuja na chakula. Wamekuja kesha yu ya Friday, na wataenda wapi? Sunday. And, and they know what I'm talking about, the family. Some people, other people who sometimes wengine walikuwa wanatoka mbali. And you know, he even bought a van. Yu van tulikuwa tunafikiria ni yetu. Only to see... Ameenda mahali ameandika church van. KAA940D. I remember it. He had written what? But my friends, probably the car I'm driving, though it is very small, but could be that was credited to my account. Hello? Praise the name of... So it is, I am saying this, friends, it is credited to your account when you give. Hey, time is up. I have two more. Please allow me to finish in five minutes. Hello? The third thing is excess. You know, giving is exercising your... Oh, yeah. I can assure you, giving is exercising your faith. Oh, brother, ananiangalia na shidwa. Nilikupatia kitamba ya white mzuri. How to me? Thank you, my brother. How nitatoka hapa kama sijaitumia for sure na vile ni white A time 
time is up and I've not used what? Anyway, exercise, it, you know, giving deepens our faith in God. Actually, giving is an action that qualifies your faith. The Bible says in James 2, it says, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, go, I wish you well. I pray for you. Keep warm and well fed. But does nothing about his physical need. What good is it? Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 17 in Asema, in the same way, in fact, it is, it is so connected to faith. Because in Asema, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. By itself, if you do not, if you just say, and my friends, let me tell you, let us be givers as a church. Give your neighbor. Wacha wacha vitu zinakaa kwa fridge zinaharibikia unatoa maharagwe unamwaga unatoa sisemi hivyo ndio tunafanyanga I'm saying give praise the name of the lord women that shall go right now cabbages you know people are suffering you, you want to extend a hand praise the name of the lord because you don't just want to tell people I'm praying for you somebody has a sick child you are praying for them that is okay if god enables you to give give to that person praise the name of the lord because you are exercising what faith. Do you know what verse 19 says of that scripture? This is what it says. As you give, my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. He will meet all, and you know that is by faith, isn't it? You, you are believing that God will meet all your, it is by faith. And so as you give, there is always a reward. Praise the name of the Lord. And you are exercising your faith. I want you to exercise your faith. Sometimes, generally, we, we people, people are selfish. I don't know if you have, it is inherent. You know, people will think about themselves. Yeah? It, it, is, it is inherent. I don't know if you, even children. Unaona mtoto mdogo kishampati ya lollipop. Na ako how old? One year. Na niyake. Unda kuniambia anajuanga kwamba atiafai kupeana. You will, you, will, you will have a struggle to get that lollipop out of. Because inherently we, we are selfish, isn't it? Inherently sometimes we find ourselves thinking about, but my brother, my sister, you may be the gift, you may be the blessing that that person next to you needs. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. Maybe somebody is struggling with a very minor issue. Somebody is struggling with a minor disease, something that you can be able to sort. Unashinda tu kimwambia ni na kuombea. Na kuombea. God wants us to give because we are exercising our faith. And finally, number four, we give because of concern for one another. Concern for one another. Friends, as Christians, we have been called to care for one another. Verse 10 of Philippians 4, the, Paul is saying as he writes to the Philippi, he says, I rejoiced greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Amen. You renewed your concern. Indeed, you are concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. Probably because he was in prison. And verse 14 says, yet it was good for you to share in my troubles. We, we are concerned because we want to share in the troubles of our brothers and our sisters. Praise the name of the Lord. You are, you are giving us a sign of gratitude because God has given you. I am telling you the life that you have, the job that you have, it is God who has given you. And if God has given you, you know, the, 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 the funny thing about life is, let me tell you, you have done a very good job. Sasa tunakuangazea half a million. Itakawa pesa mingi, isn't it? Until ingie kwa account. Na uwanze kuipangia. Takuja tukwambia, hey, si unikopeshe yata 5K. Na umewekewa ngapi? Miatano. Ina, yani, inakuja, inajipangia ina, ina until una, unashindua na niliongeze wa kweli. Hawa tu waliongeza mushara, mushara kweli. Baka unaweza wapi. Ile pesa muliweka. But ulisha fanya nini? Ulitumia. Because there are things, things are so many. But if you can get it and just share it with somebody. And bless somebody. And bless even the pastors, isn't it? And go and say, you know what? God has blessed me. I am coming to bless you, isn't it? You show concern for one another. As believers, 
we must show concern for others. It is godly to care, to take care of one another. Because you know what? There was a, as I finished, there was a, a, a lawyer who was testing Jesus. And he said, you know what, Jesus? Uh, who is a... Uh, who, what is it? What, what was the question? Because Jesus was explaining about who is my neighbor. What was the lawyer asking? Because he was testing Jesus. Have you so many scriptures? But the lawyer was asking Jesus about uh, 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 who is my neighbor. And Jesus was giving a story. And he said there was a man who was leaving Jerusalem, going to Jericho. He, and he, in the process, he, there were thugs. Thugs are Jana. jana. Hawako Kenya too. They were what? Who beat him so severely. Walim chapa. Akangushwa chini. And then you know what the Bible says? Then there was a, 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 a priest. You know now that is really a, a, an indictment. There was a what? A priest. There was a pastor. There was a bishop. Now, now let's say there was a church member or deliverance church. Zima man. You know, alikuwa naenda. Then, akapata, huyu jamaa amepigwa hapo, ameumia. The Bible says, you know this priest, what he did, he passed the other way around, isn't it? Wengine wetu maybe utaenda wangalie, sindio? Ni vizuru wangalie, na upike picha, unamuambie, one people who are coming through Jericho, Jerusalem, isn't it? Hapa kuna mutu wamefanya nini? Security, by the way, hapa sipo. Sindio? You know, I'm saying these things because they are happening. Security are your place. By the way, nimepata mse amelala hapo. Sasa wewe utakuwa unasema umesaidia wengine ndio wasi. Wasipate hawa kora. So this, this bishop or this priest or this member of this CIK passed. Hey, akaona hii. Hii wacha niachane nayo. Then there is another one. A Levite. A Levite. A Levite, a Levite eh? Pia kapitia hapo. And these were considered the people that you would think about, you know, as being uh, uh, great people. And then, the Bible says, but there was another guy. He was a good what? Oh, he passed there. He looked at him. The Bible says he took care of him. He did first aid. Yeah? Alifanya first aid. Do you think it's because he had a lot? No. But he was concerned for somebody else. He was concerned for this guy. Went and took him to an, the Bible says, an inn. An inn. What is an inn? Unajua bibile, si tu hoteli, and I am imagining an inn. Must be, uh, maybe the mina fikiria jina inn. Unajua kutumia hotel na just two letters, inn. It may have been something big, isn't it? You know, he took him and akamambia wewe fanya hivi. Chukua hii, two dinaris. Alafu shugulikia hui mutu, ukimaliza na hee, change. Kitio yote itabaki. I can imagine that was faith. And I can imagine this was a good Samaritan. And this Samaritan, probably, you know, they are objected. They are people who like, they are like losers. Praise the name of the Lord. But he decided to do something. Friends, we can do something. We can do something for one another. We can give. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't allow other people, it's other people, you know, I was... The other day I was in Mombasa and the driver was, I was with a, a guy from there and, uh, and he was telling me about a certain guy, he's a tycoon, but he's, you know, he's not a Christian, but he had built, put up a hotel for people who are hungry in Mombasa to just, kama unasikia ukonjana ni lunchtime, unapitia kwa hiyo hotel unakula. Karibu ni baki Mombasa. To go through to that hotel, isn't it? This is not, I hear he's a billionaire, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a rich guy. But a guy who has decided, there are people who come to look for jobs. There are people who come to town and they are so hungry, they have nothing to eat. I am putting up a hotel so that if you are hungry, unapitia hapo. Don't ask me the name of the hotel. I can see some people asking me what's the name of, I don't know. But what, I, what stood out for me is that ukiwa nja, you can get there and eat. Do you think that guy will lack? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. It is a reminder that we need to be givers. Because, Lord, you are the first giver. You are the first giver. You gave your life. Lord, you gave your son who gave his life for us. That today we are called the redeemed. Today. 
Lord, we have been reconciled to you. Lord, teach us to be givers. Help us to be givers. Even as I pray, as we close our eyes, you may be here. And we've talked about Jesus being the first giver. Lord being the giver. He gave his life for you. You are here and you have not, you know, you have not accepted him as the Lord and Savior. Even before we finish, I want to pray with you. You're here and you're saying, Jesus, I want you in my life. You have, Jesus has given his life for you. Like this sinful woman who knew, this is what I have and I have to connect with Jesus. You may want to connect with that Jesus. If you can lift up your hand, I will pray for you, wherever you are. You can lift up your hand. You're not born again. You say, I want this Jesus in my life. I want to get born again. I want to start the journey of a Christian. The, a person who believes, who knows that Jesus gave his life for him or her. Lift up your hand and I will pray for you. Thank you for that hand. Any other hand? I want to pray that Lord, the Lord will meet you. And from whatever you are, as you believe in your heart. Father, I pray for that believe, person who has lifted up their hand that God you will get into, the Bible says if we hear the voice of God and open our hearts, you will enter. You will come in. And because of that raised hand, I pray that God, you will save that person. That God, you will write the name of that person in the book of life. And that God, from today, that person is born again. And Lord, for every one of us, it's a reminder that we need to give. Help us to be givers. Help us to do that which you desire of us. And that is to be givers and doers of your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you.